Hello, Roadrunners. My name is Oscar Perez. I'm a student services assistant at the Transfer Center at Rio Hondo College. And today I'll be giving an overview of the UC Transfer Admissions Guarantee Program, also known as UC TAG, and how to go about in creating and completing um, that TAG application using the UC Transfer Admissions Planner. Feel free to go to the website uctap.universityofcalifornia.edu slash students slash to visit the UC Transfer Admissions Planner website to get started with your account. You scroll toward the bottom of the website, it'll give you various options on why you would want to create a UC Transfer Admissions Planner. So feel free to uh, take a look at these various reasons. Uh, but today we'll be mainly focusing on how to go about and completing the UC Transfer Admissions Guarantee Program or application using this website and how to go about in completing your Transfer Admissions Planner. If you already have a UC TAP account, feel free to log in. If not, we'll go ahead and show you how to go about in creating your account. So feel free to select the option, create an account. So here, feel free to put your first, last name, and then put an email. Definitely, we always recommend to put an email that you regularly check because you will get emails regarding your UC Transfer Admissions Planner and any other relevant information, such as the UC TAG application as well. And then below here, you'll be able to create your UC TAP login ID. Feel free to follow the instructions to go ahead and do that part. And then lastly, you'll go ahead and create a password, some security questions as well, and feel free to select I agree and save. So once you went ahead and created an account, this will be your home page in which you'll be able to navigate your UC Transfer Admissions Planner. So as you can see here, they'll have more information regarding the Transfer Admission Planner, how to go about getting started, applying for a transfer admissions guarantee. And as you can see here, if you're submitting a tag, pay attention to the filing periods and deadlines as noted on this page. Please review that apply for a transfer admissions guarantee section for specific criteria for each of the six UC uh, or six campuses that offer a tag. And then right below that, uh, some more information about the transfer pathways or pathways plus. Right next to it, though, there will be key filing dates and deadlines. You'll be able to see the transfer admissions guarantee. So for fall 2021, filing period is between September 1st to September 30th, 2020. For the spring 2022, uh, filing application is between May 1st to May 31st, 2021. Right below that, you'll be able to see the, da the dates for the transfer admissions application. So. For fall 2021, the filing period is between November 1st to November 30th. And if you have any questions uh, or trouble with your ad account, feel free to use this link and it'll redirect you to get assistance with that. Above the home page, you'll be able to see these various sections of your UC Transfer Admissions Planner. So the one of the first one is the about me section here you'll be able to answer questions regarding your personal information demographic information support program involvement right next to that you'll be able to see your my academic history there you'll be able to attend or list all the schools that you have attended uh, whether it be any other community college or university besides rio hondo after that you'll be able to add your coursework and then you'll be able to use the exam section if you use any uh, say, for example, any AP exams for uh, college credit. And then lastly, you'll be able to answer questions regarding your transfer plan, where and when I plan to transfer, apply for a transfer admission guarantee tag. So there, we'll, later on in this video, we'll show you how to go about in navigating the tag application. And then right below that, you'll be able to apply for transfer admissions. You will also be able to see these sections on the right hand side of the home page. Get started with the personal information section. 
Here you'll be able to see the full legal name that you put on the account when you first created it. You'll be able to put your date of birth. So all of this should be auto-populated. So all you need to do is just ensure that it's accurate and then feel free to enter your student ID number at your current school. Next, in the demographic information, you'll be able to answer what language did you first learn to speak? Any US military service, select any that apply to you, whether you've been in foster care. Also, you'll be given the opportunity to enter highest level of formal education for your parents, if that applies to you. Next, they're gonna ask you if a parent slash legal guardian can claim you as a dependent on his or her income tax return. Feel free to answer that. Also, how many people are in your family? Is your family headed by a single parent? Go ahead and answer that. Next, you'll be able to enter what your household gross income. If you're an independent student, you'll find that information on your tax returns. If you're a dependent student, you will have to ask the individual who claimed you as a dependent for their adjusted gross income. Household gross income, you'll be able to find more questions that is pertinent to your identity. So feel free to complete this section on your own. Next, in the support program involvement section, here you'll be able to at any support program that you have or currently participating in or those that you have an interest in participating. So feel free to select all those that apply to you. And towards the end of this section, you'll be able to see additional support programs. So here, feel free to select any that apply to you. Say for example, if you're an EOPNS student, it's gonna ask you institution that provided services. And here you'll be able to find Rio Honda College if that's where you receive this service. So feel free to check all those that apply to you. Next, in the account settings section, here you'll be able to review your UC tab login ID. You can always change your password if needed. And then also feel free to add any security questions as needed as well.